Hello and welcome to my final installment of my three-part video series on Dale Gerard's DGR? Yeah, DGR1 collection. Once again, full disclosure, these were gifted to me by Dale Gerard himself. This is not, however, monetarily sponsored, so any links that show up in the video I'm not getting any help from any of this, and I'd get nothing out of talking good or talking smack about this perfume. However, my experience with it has been nothing but magical. All three smell fantastic, and today we're going to talk about... Oh my goodness. If you've watched the previous two videos, you know that I have smacked this gorgeous bonsai at least once in each video. I do not mean to post bonsai torture porn, but here we are. Here we are accidentally torturing my beautiful gorgeous baby. Today we're going to talk about the final fragrance in the three fragrance collection and that is Mannered. Let's check out what Dale Gerard has to say about this fragrance on his website. One. It, the number one is written on the website even though this is technically perfume number three. It's the only one of the three that starts with a number one too. Like it starts with a number at all. Check on that Dale. Check on that. Woody, classic, dark, elegant, cedarwood, cypress, patchouli, mandarin, orris, rose. So there's still some patchouli in here, still some cedarwood, but then we get that little mixture of cypress. We have mandarin instead of orange. There was another one that had, that had orange. Orange Bigard is in. Did I pronounce that correctly? Bigard. Bigarde. Bijardé. So with notes like mandarin, orris, rose, this has an entirely different layer, an entirely different texture, an entirely different level to these two over here because it's richer. Mm. Oh, this one is bright and elegant. This one is soft and elegant. This one is rich and elegant, but it's still not punchy. It's still not grabbing you. It's very subtle. It's very effortless. If you know me, you know that I am all about the effortlessness of fragrance. I love it when it doesn't have to try too hard. And this doesn't have to try at all. It is, it simply is magnificent. And when I think about the word mannered, with the title mannered, it makes me think of something proper, something prim and prose. It makes me fix my posture, that's what it does. It makes me drop the shoulders down, tilt the head up. We tuck under and we transfer the weight. <laughs> mannered. You are simply effortlessly mannered. Kind of like how vocation, you embark on that journey to mastering that craft. There is no need to master being well-mannered because you have been. You already are. It's in you. It's like it's coursing through your veins, this effortless just regality. When walking in a crowd, one is under scrutiny mm. all the time. The Mandarin gives it a completely different feel from the Orange Begard. The Rose and Oris. Mm, just color it ever so slightly different than a jasmine, than the jasmine note in discernment would. It's each of these three on their own are just killer. They are so good. But when you compare the three throughout, you can see subtle differences that shine in their own way. And you experience that in a Fun little narrative. The skill that you learned in your vocation grants you the discernment to be well-mannered. It's a story. The whole thing is a story and I'm so glad that Dale doesn't outright tell the story because this is the story that I'm picking up. But when you smell it, you'll pick up an entirely different story. It's genius. It's genius. You probably could spray on all three and have just one entire Dale Gerard scent of aura. Aura of scent. Layer them in different places, like you can put, for instance, mannered, like 
maybe at, at your knees, and then discernment at your wrists, and then vocation behind your ears. You have this whole aura of scent, and you're just going to smell like the brain of Dale Gerard. Out of the three, I want to say this one's the yummiest because it has that mandarin. You can almost chew into that mandarin. You can almost peel that mandarin yourself. You're not going to though because this is that essence. Out of the three, I want to say mannered is the one that smells most delectable, but it's not food. It's not like you're smelling citrus. How else could I describe these? This is one of those things that you have to experience it yourself, but if I can describe it in just one word other than mannered, it would be... Tuck one ankle behind the other and place the hands gracefully on the knees. Effortless. All three are effortless. 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 Effortless elegance. Effortless legality. Effortless... Mm, just an essence. An essence of... Mm. It's delicious. It's delicious, and like I said, if any of these smelled bad, I would have said it, but... Mm. They smell so good. They smell so, so good. I figured I would show the three bottles here as they are, because some people might say, you know, the bottles are exactly the same. They're the same design throughout, and if that's something that turns you off, I get it. It's something that might turn some people off, right? Like there are some perfume bottles, some perfume designers out there that even though the bottles are all the same, they have different artwork on it, or they have different designs on it based on the fragrance. For these, they're all uniformly the same. What I mean by that is, I've turned them all around and I have mixed them up. Looking at the bottle, can you tell which is which? No. In fact, you can't even tell that I didn't even mix them up. They're the exact same order that they were at the beginning. But if you're not looking at them, if I'm not looking at them, I'm looking at the backs right now. I can't tell which is which. Is that a flaw? If you want them all to look the same, then that's great. You have this gorgeous collection of uniform fragrances, you put them side by side, and now you have your collection. Your your Dale Gerard collection is uniform. It's all the same. It's definitely going to stand out from every other fragrance that you have in your collection. But if you're the type that likes different designs, then I got that too. But I personally don't mind it at all. In fact, I kind of like that we have a minimalist look at all three, that all three have their own minimalist uh, look. I think the uniformity of the bottles is also intentional because they work so well together and individually that if you just had one, it's fine. If you just had two, works great. If you had all three, you have the whole collection, bada bing bada boom. I think it's intentional and the intentionality of it goes toward how the fragrances work together and draw from each other. They're not identical. The bottles may be identical, but inside the subtle difference, as subtle as the name, changes everything, changes the experience. And I thought I would point this out because some people might point that out and might say the bottles are all the same way. Personally, So, to conclude, a purely effortless, elegant caress. That's what it is. It feels like a caress. Dale Gerard, you know what you're doing, and my god, please bring the travel sizes back. Please bring the 20 milliliter, um, not 20 milliliter, 3 milliliter, $20 oil sizes as well bring them back because i want to try them all have you tried dale gerard what are your thoughts do you want to try dale gerard after having seen this if you do comment down below again these were gifted 
but I am not making any money from this. This is all because I love fragrance and because I love this particular brand. I fell in love with them ever since I tried Vocation and then Dale Dwarf sent me all three to have and to enjoy. So thank you Dale very very much. If you liked this video go ahead and leave it a gigantic thumbs up and if you didn't that's fine. Leave it an even bigger thumbs down. We appreciate honesty in this house. If you like what I'm doing with fragrances, then go ahead and click subscribe. But if you're not ready to subscribe just yet, listen, I totally understand. It's a big commitment, okay? You'd have to, you'd be obligated to watch all of my videos if you subscribe. There's there's no way out of it. You'd, you'd be signing a contract in blood and I will be there. With the knife. Okay, let me just stop right there. If you want to see any other of my videos, I have plenty others on fragrances and on personal topics that you can go ahead and uh, check on out. Also, go ahead and feel free to follow me on Instagram for some Instagram exclusive content somewhere down there. Don't click on it, it's not a link. But that's my name on Instagram, so uh, look me up. And uh, I don't know, you might like what you see, you might not. This is all optional, okay? Just do what you want. And on that note, thank you for watching, and do what you want. Bye-bye.